So we're going to give these some uh, points. So this is 0, 0, nice and at the origin. And then this point here, it could be anywhere. I'm going to call it 2a, 0. And the reason I use the 2 is because I know I'm going to be using midpoints later, so it'll make it so I don't have to go to fraction land. You could call it a0, go to fraction land, that's okay. But a lot of times when you're dealing with midpoints, it helps to just double these so we don't go there. So if I call this 2a, uh, and then the y coordinate is definitely zero. This guy up here, it's it's not fixed anywhere, so it's just two separate points. I'll call it 2b, 2c. And so if I label those like that, then I could find the uh, midpoints. So I know that u is going to be um, the midpoint. So the midpoint is just the average. You average the x's, so 0 plus 2b divided by 2, and uh, average the y's. Uh, 0 plus 2c divided by 2, so that means that u is at the point um, b comma c, b comma c, so no fractions, that's, that's nice. And then uh, do the same thing with v, so take the average of the x's, so 2a plus 2b divided by 2, and take the average of the y's, 2c plus 0 divided by 2. And so you just get, uh, both of these are divided by 2, so it's a plus b, and then just comma c. So this point here is a plus b, comma c. And so to show that this length here, that segment joining the midpoints, is uh, parallel to this side, we need to show that the slopes are the same, because we know that um, if lines are parallel, their slopes are the same. So we'll do the uh, slope of uv, and so we're just doing um, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, your change in y over your change in x. So uv, if you subtract the y's, it's c minus c, and if you subtract the x's, it's a plus b minus b. So you're getting 0 over a, which is just 0. It's horizontal. It's not very exciting. And then we do the slope of uh, RT, and you can tell that that's horizontal too. I mean, it's on the x-axis, but we'll do it all out anyway. So this is going to be a 2A, oops, sorry, change in the y's, so 0 minus 0 over the change in the x's, 2A minus 0. So it's 0 over 2A, which is 0. And so, hey, look, the slopes are the same. They're both 0. So... They don't have to be zero, but uh, as long as they're the same, that means that the lines are parallel. Okay, check, right? Bam. And then we need to show that this length is half that length. Well, these aren't so bad to find because this, they're just straight horizontal lines. So we can tell really quickly that the length of RT goes from zero to two A, so that's just 2a, and I think in their notes they write just it's horizontal. I mean, you could do a distance formula if you wanted to, but it's like, nah, I can count this. I mean, these have the both the same y-axis, like y-coordinates, so it's definitely horizontal. So when I go to find the length of um, uv, I'm just going to subtract the uh, x-coordinates, so it's a plus b. Um, minus b, so that's just a, and then we definitely see that a is half of 2a, and so it's half its length, and that's all we need to show. Check.